somebody's got like a table here and some flowers pots and I thought it was like a burial site at first you see here this mound here So I came down this way just for a walk to see if there was anything maybe hidden back here where the tracks were. Uh, there's nothing much, it's just a lot of dirt and uh, and this these cars right here. There's another car over there. I'm going to check it out, see if it's open. Uh, just to kind of get my, my breath down a little bit because I'm... Uh, uh, a little hyperventilating from all the walking and the, the sneaking and the hiding it happens when you're out of shape and overweight and that's another reason why I want to get into urban exploration is to get into shape nothing like getting into shape getting back into a good vigorous routine so so far two two places couldn't get access to I don't know what I what I saw when I saw the second place I went to I was a hundred percent certain that there was a big hole in the wall and that it had access to it for some reason I get there no access and of course as you've seen the only place was that hole that went down the basement and it, <clears throat> if I went down there my chances of getting out would have been kind of tough and I didn't want to get stuck in there and I'm pretty certain that it probably wouldn't have led anywhere into the building so I decided to follow the tracks that were alongside and uh, just, you know, see what was back here. Uh, there is um, an open section over there. Um, it says, do not enter danger. Like they're like this sign over here says, uh, do not. Let me see if I can zoom into this because there's just a lot of glare sun. So this is all the signs that you see along the fence. I'm going to take a quick little look. Uh, through there to see if there is anything that was overlooked and could be abandoned um, but like I said I do have many other places uh, I have access to my phone to a couple of websites that I'm gonna check out I have the entire day to see if I can get into some place um, now I want to give a shout out to Mo Sarji if you guys don't know who he is I'm gonna put his link in my video last night I got on Popsy, which is a uh, live st streaming feed app for your phone, and um, I clickbait him. He says I clickbait him. I don't know. I just used one of my action figures, put it in front of the camera, and he was like, what the hell is this? I got to check this out. Got on. He got me. I surprised him, and um, and I, I was kind of happy to, uh, to say hi to him because... I kind of admire this guy's work. Uh, he takes a lot of chances. Uh, he's a little crazy when it comes to the urban exploration side of things. Um, but overall, he does provide great content. And uh, him and uh, Omar Gosh TV, Omar, uh, who's uh, in the United States, uh, these, these two guys are great. Also, you can follow the, the other guys that are uh, along with Omar and, and, um, and Mo. Uh, I'll put their links in there as well. Uh, so I'm giving a shout out to them because if it wasn't for these guys, I wouldn't be inspired to do this anyway. But along with these come some failures. Um, and I told Mo that if I do find some places that he hasn't found yet, that I'm going to get him to come down towards Montreal, and we're going to find a, we're going to do a place, do a little collaboration. Um, so I'm determined. I'm determined, Mo. Okay. So with that said, that's what I usually say. Uh, I'm going to head on back, and then uh, take a little drive. Hopefully get some water at a store because I am thirsty as a mofo and I also got to charge my battery up a little bit. This is the problem with uh, these cameras. The batteries go so fast and you want to do a lot of recording 
but that's going to change because I'm waiting for some batteries to come in. I got I ordered for two batteries and an entire kit, so that should last me at at least a good three hours of recording. It's funny that I have a SIM card in here that lasts about four and a half hours. My batteries don't even last that long. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to head on back and enjoy a couple of the clips I'm going to put here in front of you, okay? Ciao, bell bye. Ciao, bell. I just have found some freaky shit here, guys. I just came, I saw something bright red and I was wondering, it just came out of, looked out of place. And somebody's got like a table here and some flowers, pots, and I thought it was like a burial site at first. You see here, this mound here. It's just a bunch of flowers on it. and then over here in the back we got pots. There's a table. It's like all kinds of soil and stuff back here. It's like somebody growing plants. Very odd place to be growing plants. This looks like a lemon tree. Yeah, it looks like a lemon tree. I don't know if there's anybody living back here. Somebody's growing like herbs and, and spices and I think there's some uh, uh, mint here as well. Very odd. There's even a rose bush planted over there. So I, I guess somebody's using this backyard for this, this area. Actually, this is private property belongs to I guess the company back there and uh, somebody's using it but the way this mound of dirt is it looks really weird it looks like somebody's buried there that is creepy man you never know what you find when you're looking in places that you're not used to looking so I'm gonna get the hell out of here just in case somebody does come this way I thought I just followed the path because this location looked like it could have held a building or some kind of structure and I was just trying to see if there were any remains of it wow there's like these little car plastic cards everywhere showing what kind of plants there are there's trees planted ah it's very weird and odd definitely somebody's been using a path here I wonder should I follow it let's follow it danger is my middle name see you can see a path right here and it hasn't been walked through frequently I don't not know where it leads but hopefully it doesn't lead to ticks <laughs> I got this paranoia thing about ticks because uh, yesterday, ironically, my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, we were having our fire in the backyard, which you'll see in my vlog, uh, Little Family Outing. Don't forget to check out the Bernie P vlog. Uh, they were talking about ticks. And I've been watching a lot of videos, like urban exploration videos from all you guys on YouTube. And everybody's been talking about ticks. And I thought it was only in the U United States. But apparently, 
it's here in Canada too. And I remember watching Omar's video with uh, his friend there. Um, I forget his name. I can't, I'm sorry, guy. I forget your name. But he was in the video and he was getting eaten by ticks. Wow, this path goes all the way back. Okay. Watch him end up coming into somebody's campsite or something. Ow! The bugs are thick. You never know, maybe I might come across a, a marijuana crop or something. Well, somebody's been definitely making fires back here. Oh, nice cool area. Get it from the sun. So yeah, somebody's been making fires over here. As you can see. All right. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna get back to the car. I'm not gonna record anymore because I got about 35 minutes of battery life. And while I'm driving, I'm gonna try and get my battery charged up a little bit more in the car. These things take like two hours to, tr to, to charge up. It's absolutely crazy. So, I'll catch you again in a few secs, okay? Magic of video making. Bam!